The Milken Institute and the Matsipa Foundation have launched a prize program to award innovation in agriculture, energy, education and health. The prizes are aimed at driving technological solutions to some of the most pressing challenges on the continent. We are now joined by the co-chair of the Matsipa Foundation, Dr. Precious Molloy Matsipa, for more on this. Dr. Molloy Matsipa, thank you for speaking to us. Give us some insight into this amazing launch. Um, yes, thank you for having me on your program. It is an exciting launch. Uh, it is a collaboration between the Milken Institute as well as the Motipe Foundation to launch this prize program, which is meant to incentivize entrepreneurs globally as well as innovators um, in solving some of the continent's most intractable problems and to help us to accelerate um, you know, the, 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 the closing the gap on the sustainable development goals uh, on the continent. Now, the, the prize is at $2 million. Does it go to a single individual, a single group, or will the prize be spread out to a number of uh, winners? Yes, so, so the, the, the entries are open right now as we speak, and the entry is free. The prize money, as you correctly said, is $2 million. This is going to be dip, uh, divided amongst, uh, firstly, we're going to have a group of 25 innovators or entrepreneurs who, who are selected from all the entrants uh, between now and December the 8th. And these 25 individuals will each receive $10,000, which goes towards creating a prototype, which will then go on to the final uh, adjudication um, and we have a group of experts that will be looking at these programs to see that they are beneficial in terms of um, improving the economic value to farmers, improving um, you know, agricultural yield, saving on costs, saving on food wastage post-production. So we're looking at the whole value chain from seed to sale. The other prizes will go towards, so the, the prize money is divided into $1 million goes towards the grant winner. And then the other million dollars is divided. We have, um, you know, prizes, for first prize, second prize, and then we have prizes for uh, the most innovative organization that uses fourth in industrial technology in a creative manner. And then we have the people's choice. But in addition, we also have with this program, anybody that enters, anybody with an idea, whether you are a single entrepreneur or you work within a company or an organization, you have the ability once you enter the program to network with a global ecosystem of entrepreneurs and innovators. We will provide webinars to these uh, entrepreneurs. We will provide extra resources to ensure that particularly women and youth stand a chance of participating in this prize um, and, and are able to, to go through. So there is a lot to benefit outside of just the prize money itself. Um, you know, the skills that uh, people will pick up uh, during the, 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 you know, the period towards um, December. So um, this is indeed an, an, a very important um, prize program that we have. Uh, as you know, that um, on the African continent, according to the World Bank, in 2018, we had about 258 so million people who were malnourished. That is not correct on a continent that has so much arable land. We also know that agriculture particularly provides jobs as well as um, food security for people on the continent. So what we want to do with this prize is to bring in new ideas, technological even innovation to solve problems of um, poor productivity from the small scale and medium scale farmers. Ma'am, you've indicated that there is a $2 million prize fund and will be split into, into two. Now, what if you have multiple ideas that could be of huge benefit to the continent? What would you do then? That's actually a very brilliant um, you know, question because that's what we're looking for. We want multiple solutions. So what is going to happen is from the entries, people may choose to join groups, for instance. Um, this is a global initiative. The focus is on Africa. So 
any individual with a great idea joining this initiative could be able to um, you know, collaborate with others um, and they form one organization that pitches for the prize money. So we do envisage that there will be multiple um, entries, multiple ideas, but what will make them win, what will make them stand is their ability to develop um, you know, business models that are sustainable. Um, they, 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 their, their prototype or their designs should be able to save um, farmers uh, you know, money. They should be able to get economic value from these uh, um, uh, you know, interventions. We want to make sure that we can increase the yield from farmers, particularly the small scale farmers. So we have strict criteria as to the people that will eventually win the prize. Now I can imagine that some people that might have incredible solutions or individuals that may not necessarily have access to, to the internet and not know about this competition. How are you reaching people in remote areas? Um, that's another good point and very important. So um, we will also be using radio, which is um, hugely you know, used in rural communities. And we will help those, those who are not able to access internet um, and participate in this program. There will be a lot of resources that will be made available to individuals to make sure that they can fully participate uh, in this prize competition. I'm glad you brought up the issue of resources because my next question is around uh, almost half-baked ideas where an idea comes through to your panel. Uh, it, is, it is brilliant, certainly, in its, uh, in its formation, but would need to be seen through. Uh, how are you dealing with that? Yes, so, so this is where the, the webinars and um, you know, the resources uh, come into play. We will be helping individual entrepreneurs and organizations, for instance, with um, skills such as how to collect data, how to uh, pitch your ideas to potential investors, how to market your, your idea, how to actually um, you know, build your business model if you have a good idea. And, and, and when you're part of this ecosystem, you will be able to also communicate with others, whether they are in Ghana or in Nigeria or Ethiopia or you know, North America, Australia, wherever you know the entrepreneurial ideas are coming from you will be able to interact with these people um, and your ideas even though you might not win as an individual you could become a part of a group or a team that wins now dr maloy Matsepa, you you raised something interesting about being part of a group how do you protect uh, the brilliance of young entrepreneurs who have amazing ideas and the potential of one either being absorbed and lost uh, in this myriad of, of activity or being bought out, so to speak, at the elementary stage? Um, so so we, we have uh, thought through all of those, I, those uh, concepts, which is very, very critical. One is the intellectual property of these individual innovators. So that will be protected. And as soon as you enter you know, this competition, you have that as a, you know, assurance that your IP will be protected. And secondly, when it comes to working with others in collaboration, um, we are looking at African entrepreneurs in particular, women and youth, and we want to make sure that they can participate because we are aware of, for instance, the funding gap when it comes to female entrepreneurs who uh, unfortunately uh, you know, do not get as much funding as uh, your male entrepreneurs would receive. So we, we, we have made sure that we connect these individuals with the right mentors. The system is such that uh, people will either come out having won the prize or will have picked up skills and collaborations with others that will help them get ahead. Uh, and as far as intellectual property is concerned, that is sacrosanct, and um, the, the program will ensure that that is safe. I'm going to go back again, ma'am, to, to that process, particularly when we look at individuals that may be stationed in remote areas. Uh, what is the process if an individual is on uh, the outskirts of, uh, of CBD 
to have a, a brilliant idea uh, that put that idea through to you uh, online or through the various uh, portals. How then do they present, for instance, if they don't have, have access to, uh, to, to technology uh, beyond traveling several kilometers, even though they might actually have a substantially good idea? That is a very um, important point. And, you know, like I said, what we're doing now is uh, we will make sure that the information at least gets to those people via radio. Um, we will ensure also that they are able to get into the system in terms of their application. You know, as a foundation, we work with development forums throughout the, 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 the country in South, in South Africa in particular. And we will ensure that um, whoever needs to apply can do so through our development forum, forums. And this can, then gets accelerated to the uh, program managers. But your point is very well understood. And I will ensure that I will raise this point you have raised, which you have asked twice, um, so that there is clarity on how a, you know, a, a Tulani sitting in some rural remote village is able to use technology to connect with others and share his idea and potentially become a winner of this prize. We do want those ideas that are indigenous and are new, uh, have never been tried before. That's what we're looking for. Well, I'm excited and I assume Tulani is uh, equally excited too. So obviously the prospect of travel would uh, come to the fore in that if an individual has a great idea, uh, will they come to a station to work with under other individuals in working on this program? Is that how you envision it working? At this stage, because of the coronavirus pandemic, uh, people will work remotely, uh, which again will um, give us a challenge of how we are, you know, become inclusive, uh, meaning include those who do not have access to technology. Uh, and this is what we will solve. So um, people will work remotely, applications will be sent centrally, the 25 will then be adjudicated and announcements will be made in uh, December. And from there, um, the prototypes, again, because of COVID, we don't know where we will be in December, the prototypes will, will be done, you know, the field studies will be done um, wherever you are, if you're in Nigeria or, you know, uh, in Ghana, in South Africa, um, we can then have the pro prototypes done in your country. And then, of course, uh, with the finale, um, the, there will be an, an, an announcement and uh, the judges will be able to say who the winners are. Dr. Precious Maloy Matsipet, thank you for your time this afternoon, ma'am.